On April 21, 2012, 29-year-old Shannon Stafford was shot and killed by her ex-father-in-law, 54-year-old Larry Mitchell. Shannon had married Larry's son, Nathan Mitchell, years prior to the murder and the couple lived with his parents. Larry and Sandra Mitchell controlled and manipulated Shannon by isolating her from her family. Shannon's daughter was born three months early and the Mitchells blamed her for the premature birth and began controlling the interactions between her and the baby. Upon returning from a weekend visit to her family, whom she hadn't seen in a long time, Shannon discovered that the Mitchells refused to allow her to return and kept the baby. Shannon then filed for custody and divorce. She was granted unsupervised overnight visits with her daughter despite the Mitchells' claims that she was unfit. On the day of her murder, Shannon was told to arrive at a Walmart in Morgantown, West Virginia where they would make their first exchange. Larry approached her vehicle and began shooting even as she attempted to exit until she collapsed. A group of witnesses were able to hold Larry down until police arrived. On December 7, 2012, Larry pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and was sentenced to life in prison. 